the Permanent Secretary for Ministry of Waterways and Environment, uh, team from our ministry, uh, colleagues and friends from our NGOs and uh, civil society organizations uh, joining us this morning uh, on the virtual platform. Members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, delighted to join you all through this virtual pl platform to commemorate the International Day for Biological Diversity and launching of a short documentary which highlights some of Fiji's biodiversity hotspot sites. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiji is, is home to a fragile island ecosystem where biodiversity resources, ecosystem goods and services play a very important role in sustaining and supporting the life of us Fijians and of course our economic well-being as well. Biodiversity has become an integral part of our day-to-day -day existence. Fiji, as party to the Convention on Biological Diversity, is required under Article 26 to submit national reports on the progress made with regards to the implementation of the provisions of the Convention and their effectiveness in meeting the objectives of the Convention. The national report takes stock of all achievements and actions in implementing the International Day, International and National Biodiversity Targets. Today, it is with much pleasure that I announce that the Ministry has completed the formulation of the sixth national report. This will be formally launched in a few weeks' time following uh, tabling in Cabinet. Ladies and gentlemen, the, to provide a holistic reporting of Fiji's biodiversity achievements, the Ministry of Environment, with the support and assistance of the Ministry of Communications, has produced a documentary showing some of Fiji's biodiversity hotspot sites as a prelude to the launch of the uh, sixth national uh, report on biodiversity, uh, biodiversity and the achievements that we have done with regard to our commitment to the convention. Some of the key highlights of the documentary, which will also be launched today, which will be launched today, will show a strong application of our ecological and environmental and traditional knowledge of conservation to real-time exemplar hotspots. A total of 10 case study sites have been documented in the documentary, focusing on marine protected areas, terrestrial protected areas, forest reserves, bat sanctuaries, mangrove and coral restoration sites, and sanctuaries for Fiji's endemic crested iguana. Let me name a few. The Mali Island Marine Protected Area is part of the Great Sea Reef located known as the Rakaulevu or Ngoligoli Rakovata Madhuata. It is the third largest reef system in the southern hemisphere and has rich marine biodiversity. The ministry worked with the communities and multiple agencies and established this protected reef site as Ramsa site, which was commissioned by Honorable Prime Minister Honorable Josi Amoringa Banimarama. The community leadership highlighted a concern that there were challenges in monitoring the newly commissioned site from poaching and overfishing. The ministry organized a surveillance assistance program and offered both structural and functional support, provided an educate training and surveillance boat which was handed to the community by our Honorable Prime Minister. The Garinavai Marine Protected Areas is another important hotspot area in Fiji. The marine protected area has shown signs of replenishment. Previous studies have indicated that the marine resources were declining. Through its community-based MPA, they are now able to protect their marine resource and have seen positive spillover effects of such protected areas with the Angolingoli. The MPAs are strongly supported by the National Environmental Council, chaired by our ministry, and is an important conservation tool. The Reach to Reef program led by the Ministry of Environment saw the establishment of the Nabakuru Terrestrial Protected Area. This program resulted in increased biodiversity outcomes and restored degraded land. The project had, has also led to the improvement of the health of the Lambasa and Gawa River through the rehabilitation efforts upstream. The Ministry of Environment will continue to support in every possible way the Nakanandangi Bat Sanctuary this sanctuary secures a cave housing the world's only known maternity roost of the endangered free, Fiji free tail bat. Waisali Forest Reserve is one of the Fiji's most diverse rainforests. This 300 acre reserve is rich in bird species and exquisite trees 
flowers and plants, including those used in traditional medicines. It housed Fiji's endangered ground frog species, which was once thought to have become extinct. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry of Environment has also supported and will continue to work with the National Trust of Fiji in rehabilitating the Monuruki Island Iguana Sanctuary. The Ministry has supported the translocation of the iguanas from Yandua Tamba Sanctuary and Kula Eco Park to Monuriki Island. As part of the Ministry's mangrove advancement program and the chain of nurseries being established across Fiji, the Ministry supports the Navuni Ivi village in Rakiraki Mangrove Restoration Project. A total of 600 mangrove seedlings were planted to help restore traditional fishing ground. The coastal erosion causes the village to venture out into deeper waters to catch fish and the mangrove planting initiative comes with the hope that the mangroves will establish new fishing grounds while it helps to stop the erosion of the coastal areas. The ministry will be partnering with the community and establish the site as a biodiversity park. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by acknowledging the support from various agencies, in particular UNEP, Nairobi, and the uh, and CBD Secretariat for providing financial and technical support and guidance, and the sixth and our consultants, IUCN and Nature Fiji, Marengeti Viti. We also acknowledge the, with appreciation the assistance provided by the Ministry of Communication, who have worked closely with our ministry in providing in producing the sixth national report documentary for the Ministry of Environment. I acknowledge our team here at the Ministry of Environment, Director of Environment, for achieving a milestone in completing Fiji's sixth national report under the guidance and, uh, uh, and leadership of our, our Permanent Secretary of Environment, Mr. Whiteley, uh, and, 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 to, and making sure that we meet Fiji's obligation under the Convention on Biological Diversity. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to commend this uh, documentary to you all, and I do hope that it will give you some indication of how uh, and the projects that we have undertaken to meet our obligation with regard to the convention and, and prepare us all to uh, receive the, uh, the sixth national report on uh, convention on biodiversity and our commitments in a few weeks' time. Thank you. Naka. The sixth national report captures Fiji's achievements and progress towards meeting its national biodiversity targets as set out in Fiji's current national biodiversity strategy action plan. Mali Island Marine Protected Area is part of the Great Sea Reef locally known as Rakaulehu Ongolingoli Rakowatha Madhuwati. It is the third largest reef system in the Southern Hemisphere and has rich marine biodiversity home to the Great Barrier Reef. The Ministry worked with the community and multiple agencies and established this protected reef site as a Ramsar site, commissioned by Honourable Prime Minister. The community leadership highlighted a concern that there were challenges in monitoring the newly commissioned site from poaching, overfishing. The Ministry organised a surveillance assistance programme and offered both structural and functional support by providing adequate training and a surveillance boat which was handed to the community by Honourable Prime Minister, Honourable Josiah Moringa Bani Marama. Number two, the Reach to Reef program, led by the Ministry of Environment, saw the establishment of Navakuru terrestrial protected areas under the Reach to Reef program. This program has focused on water frustration outcomes, converted and restored degraded land. The project has focused on the improvement of the health of the Lambasa and Gawa rivers through the rehabilitation efforts such as tree planting on degraded land areas, the river buffers to maintain key ecosystem functions of the Lambasa River through the provision of clean and safe quality drinking water, food and economic livelihood activities such as agriculture. The Department of Environment supported the establishment of the Nakanavangi Bat Sanctuary, the Fest for Fiji. This sanctuary, a terrestrial protected area, secures a cave housing the world's only known majenti roost of the endangered beast, free-tailed bat. The cave was purchased by the National Trust of Fiji and will be maintained as a sanctuary for bat conservation. The Ministry of Environment partnered with the National Trust of Fiji in rehabilitating the Monuriki Island Iguana Sanctuary. The joint work between the community and the National Trust ensured that the captive breeding program 
has also focused on the successful eradication of predators. The ministry supported the translocation of the iguanas from Yandua Tamba Sanctuary and Kula Eco Park to Manuriki. To us at the ministry, this is only a beginning as we peel our work around this report and enhance biodiversity. As an ardent biodiversity follower, pieces of work as this only strengthen my resolve to lead and achieve more for our biodiversity and Fiji's environmental health. The sixth national report attempts to present a national status of our overall national progress towards meeting our national and global biodiversity target and reflects our collaboration as a nation to achieve it. It also captures the contribution from the broader community and individual commitments and achievements in biodiversity conservation and in maintaining a healthy Fijian environment. <music>